As it's difficult to get technical specifications for the GPIO pins, I thought of doing a little testing of my own to see what voltage levels were considered a low, or a digital zero, and what voltage levels were considered a high, a digital one. The circuit here is fairly simple so long as you're comfortable with voltage dividers. Current from the 3.3 volt rail passes through a 10 kilo ohm variable resistor, which right now has a screwdriver sticking out of it, then passes through a 1 kilo ohm fixed resistor, and then returns to ground. Between the two resistors, one wire leads to an input pin on the Raspberry Pi, and another wire leads to the digital multimeter. I've also connected ground to the COM port on the multimeter. In this way, we'll be able to see what voltage level is at the input pin. By changing the resistance of the variable resistor, I can change the voltage level that's being given to the input pin. So we're starting off at 3.3 volts. I've also included an LED at the top of the breadboard controlled by a GPIO output pin. I'll use this to indicate when the input pin has reached a high or low value. Okay, let's start off by searching for the low value, the threshold for a low value on the input pin. Okay, so we're at about 2 volts. And there we have the light going off, the LED, so I'll go up a little. 1.24, 0 0.23, 1.2, oh. Okay, so probably can't see exactly. That's 1.20 right now. We don't even get to 1.19. So at about 1.2, that's when we get our low value. And I'll go all the way down to the lowest voltage we can have. And now let's try looking for the high value. Okay, I just made a quick change to my program, so now we can look for a high value. So we must need to go over at least 1.2. Oh. And we're already on with 1.34. Let's try going slowly up here. 1.31. Let's go below again. I'll go up really slowly. 2.9. 3. 3.1. So about 1.34 it seems to turn on. So there you have it, very roughly 0 to 1.2 volts corresponds to a low, and 1.3 to 3.3 volts corresponds to a high.